Nemesis is the title of my film opening, as it means vengeance. I chose this to be my title, and my film opening is about a ghost that wants revenge because she was killed by her husband. So I think that no family that enters the house can be a happy family, which is what she wanted before her untimely death. I have three characters that are going to appear in my film opening. My main character in the film opening is the mother. The mother is a single mother who, who is 38 years old. Her name is Tessa. She is going to be played by Margaret Carothers. She was widowed two months before moving into the house where my film opening is set. She moved with her son after her husband's death for a fresh start. Her son is called George, who is going to be played by Daniel Carothers. He is eight years old when he was killed by the ghost. He is killed two months after moving into the house. My other main character is the ghost. She is called Ariel, who is going to be played by Rebecca Clark, and she was 25 years old when she was killed. She came back as a ghost and wanted to fulfil revenge by tearing any family apart that tries to live in the house where she is killed in. She kills George as he is seen as innocent and vulnerable as he is young. The death of Tessa's husband was also a factor to her condition in the present day, as she lost both members of her family in the space of four months. So she is filled with regret, remorse and guilt. My film opening is set in the present day 2016. It's about a young mother who's haunted by her past, which is going to be set in 2006. In my film opening, she flashes back to her son's death. In the flashbacks, she's watching her son being viciously killed through a locked door in an old house where they were living. Her son is being killed by the ghost who had been killed by her husband, so she wants to tear any family part that lives in the house. The room that the son is killed in is significant, as it was also the room that the ghost was killed in, hence why she was haunting that particular room. The son was playing in the room two months after moving into the house when the dreadful deed happened. These events have driven the mother mad with guilt and the fact the ghost is still haunting her in the present day. Therefore, she is not allowed out into society until she fully recovered from her condition. If I filmed the rest of the film, it would be about how her mother tries to get rid of Ariel, who is still haunting her after 10 years. She would also be let out into society once more before her condition takes her for the worst, when she cannot cope with her past haunting her. All these events lead to her eventual suicide. The age rating of my film is going to be 12A, as it contains moderate scenes of violence. It also contains some scenes that viewers may find upsetting. I'm directing my film opening at both genders, as I find it entertaining, scary and action-packed. All ethnicities and religions. I will also aim my film opening at middle-class citizens. I chose horror to be the genre of my film opening, as I'm always watching horror films, as it is one of my favourite genres. Also, I felt like I could, could explore more camera techniques and mise en scene techniques to make my horror film. Firstly, I got my inspiration for my film opening from the film The Messengers. It gave me inspiration to use grey scale colour grading in the flashbacks. It also gave me inspiration to have a family that is killed in an old house by a supernatural creature rather than a human being in the film. I also got my inspiration for, for my ghost from the 2012 film The Women in Black as it is based on a ghost seeking revenge. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? Can I just make a comment? I really like the way you did that Prezi and the way you didn't put all the answers, so it was just like prompts that we could see what you were talking about and then you told us the answers. That was really effective. But I do have a question that keeps on bugging me. <laughs> that when you say the mother is not allowed out into society, but she's living in this house, presumably on her own, who is it who's, she's like a prisoner? No, basically. Um, it's really difficult because like, after her son's death, she would have moved out of the house because it would have haunted her and then because of her condition she had to be sort of like taken into like a hospital to like recover from her condition but she couldn't 
until like present day when she they think they think that she's recovered but she really hasn't because like the ghost is still haunting her. So she's I'm being a bit dim here, I think. <laughs> she's in hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And or she's just having flashbacks of the house but she's not actually at yeah, the house. She's sort of like talking about it in her head, so it's all going on her head and she has these flashbacks to her son's death. That makes sense. Thank you. Hmm. Because I think in the key characters you put that the mother is the main character, but then you also put the ghost. Well, they would... the son isn't main character because he isn't he isn't really seen that much, only in the flashbacks. But the mother and the ghost are because if I did film the rest of the film, the ghost would be still wanting the mother. So it's mm -hmm. sort of how they're still okay. So if I'm a, a producer and you're expecting me to fund this film. Um, what kind of media, what kind of film company do you think would be the ones to present it? Or have you not thought about that? I haven't thought about that yet. Because I, well, I had an idea. Because I was just thinking, the Hammer Horror is a really old, have you heard of it? Really old film company that used to produce things like um, really, really ancient horror films. But they reconvene to do the woman in black so I was just thinking that might be a good company to approach to get them to take on your film. <laughs> Where are you going to film it? Well I'm going to film it all at my grandma's house so I'm going to where the room, the room where my the son is going to be killed um, I'm going to film there because it's quite my grandma's house is really really old and it's really scary and then <laughs> <laughs> Right, and then my um, I'm going to film my aunt who's playing the mother in my the cleaning room because my aunt and my uncle work in the in there, so they have like a cleaning room. So I'll film like the hospital scenes in there. And that's at your grandma's house as well. That's all my grandma's house. Yeah. yeah. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I really thought about it. Because then like, I just I spoke about the husband because then. Like, if there's questions about where the husband is, just, yeah. Oh, I've got no question. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, what, do you think there are going to be any issues with filming? Do you think it's going to be easy to do, or are there any, are there any hurdles that you're going to have to get over? Well, I went to my grandma's house on Friday, and for, for like a party, so I was like, so I looked at the rooms that I wanted to use, and... For the room I did want to use, there's like loads and loads of boxes and different pieces of furniture and I thought I wouldn't be able to move and it's like, so I wouldn't be able to move them out and everything. So I decided to not use that room and then I used my, the lounge because it's quite big and there's like doors like windows, but I have to take down like posters or whatever. I never looked at the table room, so yeah. Have you thought about how you're going to film, what, how you're going to because the boy's being killed, you're filming the boy being killed, aren't you? Yeah. How are you going to make that look convincing? Well, because I put like different pieces of furniture which I can like turn around and they're not going to be in like the scene so she could, he could land on that but I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think about it because, yeah, um, I was thinking about like trying to get him to be like thrown against the wall but then I thought that would be too complicated and like, because we can't. <laughs> yeah, and also I thought about like the door, like how I'm gonna like film it, because it's like you know this door's like the wooden, like little glass like that. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how to film through that. Yeah. So you might have to practice, do yeah. some practices, yeah, before you get your actors in. Yeah, because like the clinic one's quite easy to film in because it's literally like that. I can just film her on the bed, sitting on the bed, thing. and it's quite. Yeah, so similar to Nikita's in a way, that that bit. You know, when Nikita did the film about the girls being told they had one of them had cancer. Oh yeah, it's like sort of blue, so blue, so it looks like, yeah, she's like, it's a little ward. Right, yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. You might be able to watch some YouTube videos on yeah. how to film people being attacked without them really getting hurt. Somebody must have made a video about that. I was thinking about green screen. Yeah. Because I know all the furniture is placed in that room, so I can use that. 
and it's all quite old furniture. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.